Hello everyone, it's Dr. Joe J. Huffman Jr. at Arkham Asylum. Today's patient in the inaugural episode of Arkham Asylum Patient Files is, drumroll please, Edward Enigma, aka The Riddler. And um, as I said in my update video, this is kind of like Tales from the Crypt, whereas I'm the Crypt Keeper, and I'm telling us a story though it's more light not as dark as tales from the crypt i mean there's a couple macabre and dark characters and elements and plot lines but other than that it's not really that dark but anyways i won't just be doing batman villains i also do characters like toy man the superman villain uh let's see uh clocking the kind of batman villain kind of green arrow villain and and of course dr destiny the justice league villain but enough being around the bush, and let's begin. <clears throat> Ever Enigma was known from the start to have a high IQ, but his parents, specifically his dad, resented that and gave him frequent beatings. Yeah, they're horrible parents. And he was determined to prove that he really was a genius, not just some idiotic moron who's just pretending to be a genius. And his chance came one day in school. His teacher announced a contest, and if the, the person who solved the puzzle, the, f the first person to solve a puzzle with the fastest time, would would get a $20 prize. Enigma was determined to get the prize to prove to his parents that he is smart and to get attention at school. Yeah, that's really what Enigma's motivations are for becoming a villain, to prove his intellect and for attention. So anyways, he broke into the school at night, wondered guys who was going to get some ice cream. So, anyways, he, got into, he broke into the school, he took a picture of the finished puzzle. Now he knew what it looked like, he didn't practice until he could solve it under one minute. And he won a course, and he got the prize, that being a riddle book and, and, and other riddles inside. That this hardly pleases Pop. And, and he thought he cheated, and he, and he kept going, You must have cheated! I made you, Mom! You cheated! You cheated! Enigma swore to his dad he didn't, and so his dad beat him up for lying. But he, but Enigma's dad was right, unbeknownst to him. And, uh, so anyways, Enigma, when he graduated from college, put his wits to use, and he became a carnival guy at this thing where he conned people out of their cash. When the carnival went to flunk throwing a few, uh, let's just say macabre incidents, he later joined Wayne Enterprises where he learned about tech and computers. However, he invented this, you know, and uh, he, at his crimes he leaves riddles, usually in some Riddler trophy machine thing or in an Enigma box. It turns out he created those, and he tried to offer it to Wayne, to Bruce Wayne, that that it could help improve your memory, and it and <clears throat> it contains riddles, and it'll make your memory sharper. But he thought that Enigma was being a nutcase, and he asked, and he said, and, he re and just rejected Enigma. Enigma became outraged, and he and he resigned right on the spot, taking. And a crew of people who worked on his devices for him left too. That's because he didn't, to quote him, I didn't need him anyways. So he then became the Riddler. Why would he be the Riddler again? Wouldn't he just be like Computer Man or something? Well, it's because he used riddles because he wanted a gimmick because to him he thought that there's no fun if he was just some everyday crook. And. And yeah, and his henchmen were those people he supervised, and um, he he and so uh, he's been caught by Batman several times, and always being sent here to Arkham. And um, yeah, we don't have it's because his riddles are a compulsion to me and pretty much all the Arkham staff, but to him they're a passion, and uh, that's really. And, uh, anyway, so that's the story of Edward Enigma, a.k.a. The Riddler. I don't know who I'll be doing next, Well, it'll probably be either Scarecrow, Two-Face, Penguin, or Toy Man. And, uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.